Hey guys, what's up? If you're new, my name is Lynn Kate. If you're not, welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you guys. Oh my god, the sun came out. <laughs> it's going back in. It's going back in. Okay, hold on. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by Mr. Sun, I'm just going to show you guys products that work for me for like a boost of volume. I naturally have voluminous hair, but these products help me with a boost of volume. And yeah, so if you want to know what the products are, just keep watching. These products may or may not work for you, but honestly, when it comes to products and curly hair, you just have to try out different techniques, different products to see if it will work for you. So the first product that I have here is the Diva Fuser from Diva Curl. It is $50. You can find it at Sephora and I believe Ulta as well. And of course the Diva Curl website. And the reason why I am including this is because it really helps with volume. Before, I didn't really realize that, but now I do. Um, I have been using this for years and what I love about it is that it really just dries your roots very well because instead of like having the other diffuser um, that I use, if you guys see my other videos, I like using the other diffuser as well, but that's mainly to dry my ends. It really doesn't get into my roots, but this one, because it's a hand, you can easily like lift up your hair and dry your roots directly. I don't really like using this to dry my ends. I switch with the other diffuser that I have, so, and I'm noticing that my hair looks really short, and I think it's because of shrinkage. I, I thought when it got longer, it gets looser. For me, that's what I noticed, but Maybe it's just the wash and go, but it does look a little shorter. I did not cut it, but I am here for it. Back to the diffuser, it really helps me with volume because instead of like drying my hair like this, diffusing my hair like this, don't ever diffuse your hair like this if you want volume because obviously what you're doing is just flattening your hair and if you're for that, go for it. But if you don't like flat hair like me, um, go underneath and then just shake it. That way it doesn't sit on top. That way it just dries nice and fluffy. Um, it can work for you. It may not work for you. Some people don't like diffusing. Some people love air drying before, like especially in the summer. I always air dry because I get more volume and more definition at the same time but in the winter since it's cold outside I don't like going out with wet hair and it takes forever for my hair to dry so I prefer diffusing so next I'm going to talk about mousses and foams I really don't know the difference I think the only difference might be is that mousses probably give you a little bit more definition than foams I haven't experienced like any definition with foams what foams do to me is definitely boost my volume but I want to talk about this mousse right here from John Frieda. Love them so much. It's their Frizz Ease Curl Reviver Mousse. Restores bounce and definition to natural curls. So I've been using this for a while now. For like a couple of months. Maybe like no maybe like four or five months already i may be wrong but a couple of months and i've been loving it so much because it adds definition to my curls but it also doesn't weigh it down and it adds a little bit more of a volume i only apply about like three to four pumps depending on the other styling products that i use but i use a leave-in conditioner first and then i use the mousse i don't really use a gel after this you can maybe i have i don't remember but i usually do leave-in mousse and gel or leave-in cream and gel or leave-in and gel that's like the order so i love this so much i really recommend trying it and it's affordable too next i have two foams one is from diva curl it's their frizz free volumizing foam and the other one is from we dad play curl curl amplifying curl amplifying foam these are both high-end products i believe we dad is a little bit more expensive than diva curl but we dad has really good products as well diva curl is sulfate paraben and silicone free all of their products are we dad has some products that are free from everything and then other products have some silicones but as you guys know i don't care about silicones and sulfates no more i do use products that contain those ingredients and they haven't damaged my hair so if your hair is healthy or if you just want to try products that contain those ingredients go for it it's not going to damage your hair like for the long term if you just use it a couple of times but if you see that it's like damaging your hair drying out your hair then stop using it but you can try it out the first time that i tried this product maybe in like I don't know if it was maybe 2013 or 2015. It was like a long time ago. I hated it. It made my hair really sticky. I don't know if I applied too much or the products that I tried it with was bad or I don't know. The weather outside, I don't know. But 
yeah when i first tried this product it was horrible it made my hair really sticky i didn't like it so i left it alone i didn't try it again until a couple of years later or a couple of months later probably like a year later i tried it again and i instantly loved it it gave me like a boost of volume and it says it's a lightweight body booster so that's definitely good for volume and it says texture and volume so it doesn't feel sticky when i use it now but it does i don't want to say it makes your hair dry because that's not what it does but it definitely doesn't moisturize so i would definitely suggest to use a leave-in condition before applying this to moisturize your hair and then apply a little bit a little bit does go a long way maybe one or two pumps you have to play around with it with mousses and foams you do want to apply them directly onto your scalp because that's where you want the boost i mean you want the boost all over but definitely your scalp that way it's um voluminous there and then everywhere else as well but you only need about i mean depending on how much hair you have i may apply three to four pumps um maybe try that two to three pumps apply it onto your roots and then go onto the rest of your hair so this can be a hit or miss i feel like mousses can be a hit or miss but you just have to try it a couple of times i honestly love this foam so much it does give me a boost but again it doesn't moisturize your hair so now moving on to we dad this is their play curl curl amplifying foam instant volume without curl suppressing weight oh and by the way you apply all of these products on wet hair just wanna put that, put that out there this is from their loose curls line they have like a loose curls line a classic curls line i think a kinky line they have like so many lines and so many products so you just have to play around with it and i really like this foam because it's lightweight this diva curl foam is lightweight but this one is lighter this one is killing me and yeah it kind of does the same thing as a diva curl foam but it is a little bit lighter so you might like this one better it really just depends you have to try them out and see which one um is better for you but i believe this does contain yeah it does contain sulfate it doesn't say it's free from anything so it probably does contain silicone yeah it does it does contain silicone and this one doesn't so that may be the reason why you choose this one over this one or maybe you do like silicone so you'll choose this one but yeah i love both of these foams they do exactly the same thing this one is just a bit lighter moving on to sprays i have four sprays here first i'm going to talk about the mirage hair care three and one finishing spray it is for volume control and hold that's why i love it so much because it really does all those three things to my hair it gives me like a nice volume i like to spray it on wet hair of course after my leave-in conditioner i like to lift up my hair and spray it like directly onto my roots on like this bottom layer and then i like to spray it on top don't spray too much because it can become a little sticky or a little too like overwhelming for your hair so a couple of sprays all around would be okay but honestly this is i mean it speaks for itself it's a three in one it does have it does give you a boost of volume control definitely control definitely and hold so this is really good for when it's raining outside or for when it's humid the next spray that is similar to the mirage spray is the we dad play curl curl and flying styling spray so this is in the same line as the mousse that i showed you guys i think with this one you can get away with more sprays than the mirage one the mirage one i feel like it's a really like sh not strong hold but a stronger hold than this one again this is for like loose curls so they don't they might not need people with looser curls might not need like a stronger hold this one is from not your mother's oh and mirajo you can find at sephora and we data i believe i believe i believe you can find at ulta maybe sephora and their website I'll leave everything linked down below so you guys can check them out. And this product right here is from Not Your Mother's. Not Your Mother's is one of my favorite, favorite brands. We Dad too, but this is more of like a newer brand that I discovered last year. Like, I think, yeah, I think like maybe the beginning of last year or something like that. But this is their Plump for Joy Thickening Hair Lifter. It volumizes, strengthens, and gives you luxurious shine now your mother's is amazing i love working with them this is not a sponsored video but i just love them so much and they are very affordable so what this does is again give you a boost of volume but it's more of like a gel like consistency you just spray it let me show you it comes out like that and it's like a gel consistency it's very light though and all you do is spray a couple of times i probably do nine or ten only because it, the sprays are little 
and I apply it onto my scalp like this and then I spray a little more and apply it onto my ends and that's it. The last product is from Color Wow. I just used this product today. It's Style on steroids performance enhancing texture and finishing spray get sexy what <laughs> get sexy texture and record setting results non stiff non sticky holds with thermal protection okay um so all you have to do i actually used it today for the first time and i really like it i feel like it just helped with hold it didn't really add more of a volume i do have voluminous hair today this is my day one hair but it i like it i mean yeah so all I did was shake it and flip my hair over and apply it onto my roots and I applied a decent amount. I wasn't really careful with the sprays and it didn't make my hair sticky or you know like hairspray consistency, how it makes your hair feel if you apply too much. It didn't make my hair feel like that at all, hard or sticky or dry. It was actually very fluffy and it still feels really fluffy so yeah I really like this product. I used it today. Really good for holds. I think it's actually helping with my volume down here since I sprayed it, so it's probably not gonna drop down. All right guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.